Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And uh, since Cut just walked out, we'll just discuss Lil Durk's project, The Voice. Uh, I, I, enjoy, I enjoy that album. Um, I think the death of his, uh, you know, we know the death of King Von, I think really changed, like added more depth to the uh, the project. I think those songs are really originally, originally wasn't intended for that album, but after his tragic passing, I think Dirk just added those songs, made, references went back on, worked on a few tracks, and that, 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 that album is pretty good. It's not better just because you y'all waited, but that the Voice Project album is pretty good. Um, I agree, definitely. I would listen to it way more than the previous or aforementioned artists that we just discussed. However, uh, it, it's it's always good to hear Dirk <clears throat> drop because one thing about Dirk. One thing about Dirk, you never have to worry if this project is gonna be good. Like, and I'm starting to like that about Dirk because I feel like personally, every single project he released, like he's getting better. Like these albums, they're, they're starting to sound more complete. I think he's starting to understand his sound more. And unfortunately, there are things in his life that keep happening that we as you know, as, as an audience want to hear. I think that, that helps as well. Unfortunately, King Von Dime being the most recent. But his his albums are becoming, I feel, more and more complete. And we love to see that from artists, like, grow. Like, I, I felt like Playboy might have taken a step back with this album. I'm not going to say, like, I don't think this pushed him ahead. Like, okay, yeah, like, that's my boy. But did you outgrow? You know, I feel like you still got to have respect for who got you to the platform or, you know, yeah, to the platform that you're at. You know what I'm saying? People say, you know, listen to my old stuff. But that's like Kevin Hart new special. I hate to kind of make it, you know comedy that's like Kevin Hardy special like I ain't really rock with it and yes he had he was getting better in his series but at the same time he was regressing um so I feel like as an artist in music you you gotta you gotta get better and Dirk is still in his like climatic part of his career where he's trying to reach the climax I feel like I feel like he's still not there yet yeah. but he will get there when he first when he first started he started out five then he doing no down now he's back and he's back and better than ever. I feel like Cardi came in and was like, Cardi was Cardi. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone was rocking with him. He's grown, but he hasn't grown as much as Dirk. I, I give you that. He hasn't grown as much as Dirk. Where Dirk was, like, a few years ago, no, I would have never I would have never guessed Dirk would be in the position that he's in right now. He literally, he, he about the second, I'd say he's like the second hottest behind, uh, behind my little baby. I would agree. Mm-hmm. I'd agree. Top two for sure. Yeah, he top two for sure. I think but I feel like gonna take that third spot. No kissing. That it just be the you feel that soul in that man music, bro. And it's a lot of stuff you can relate to. Uh, so it's just I don't know. Especially with twenty twenty, twenty twenty has been a traumatic year for everybody. So I feel like you know this music right here. I mean. It's the move. Gotcha, Cut Carter. You can give your voice, the voice review before you take it away with new music. Then we get our top 10 albums of 2020 out of the way. You can get the nod in UK. You're on mute, bud. You're on mute, bud. The voice. Um, I love the album. Got a lot of replay value. Um, favorite songs are Refugee and um, Not the Same. Um, but I really. It's really like from beginning to end is something you can really listen to and ride to. Um, it's not a long listen, only 41 minutes. I like that. Um, it's only 16 songs. That's my boy, man. Been a been a fan since high school. So, <laughs> but I, I did. I will say, I it was a, a moment when like, I don't know if he was with Def Jam or wasn't with him, and it kind of like, I stopped checking for him as much. And then you know, I or I go listen, and I be like, eh, I wouldn't finish it. But now, um, he in his bag. I think he, um, I think he the, he the best out. I mean, him and the baby, he the best out, like to me. So, um, I'm just, I'm happy he dropped some. I wish he could tour and do stuff like that. So, hopefully, 2021 he had that option. Um, but he, uh, the album. It's a, it's like a, a it's like a, a A to me. I ain't gonna give it an A plus, but it's it's I could, <laughs> but it's it's up there. It's I like almost every song. 
I appreciate Dirk dropping multiple projects this year. Um, like maybe he dropped the deluxe. I don't know if you consider that multiple projects. Maybe just being hot on a lot of different features. But for Dirk to drop multiple projects at separate times of the year, one at, you know, I think that's pretty notable. Um, you know, especially for the end of 2020. I'm curious to see, you know, what music we gonna start the year out next year with. Um, and if those artists are able to set the tone, because I felt like 2020 looking at review was a pretty good year for music. Like I think in the last 10 years, it could be probably looked at as one of the top three, top two type of musical years. And I'm grateful for that. We got to live through it. Okay. Yes, sir. I agree. I got a number two on only 2018. There was a lot of good music that dropped this year. They were saying we were supposed to get a J. Cole album. So I'm guessing we're going to get that next year. Drake's album, of course, needs some new Travis. Um, you changed my part of job? I was just saying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Cut, let's do it. Then get these albums out the way. <laughs> 